So hello everyone and welcome back to Terra Firma Craft. So I found some iron. Uh, it's regular quality. It's not rich, but that's okay. Uh, that'll mean that every time we use the bloomery, we get uh, exactly 600 units, and I am perfectly content with that. So originally, I was mining up here. It was uh, it was pretty decent. There was uh, quite a bit of iron ore up here, but I realized, you know, a lot of it's in the floor. Just a teeny bit of it, bit of it is in the ceiling. So I decided to go down, and sure enough, this was just chock full of the stuff. And that was only my first square. Up here I did four squares. One, two, three, four. And I got all that stuff. Now, I believe it may be nighttime outside. I'm going the wrong way. Go the way with the least interference. Because I carved this to be easy to walk through. Uh, it looks like it's daylight, although it is raining, so I can't expect mobs to be despawned. Like, I can see creepers on my map already. So, we're gonna head home, and I'm gonna show you a bit of the other stuff that I have on, uh, I've managed to complete off-camera, as well as start a new project, uh, a new build project. Uh... But, uh, all we have to do is get home, so I'm going to cut here. I'll bring you guys back in when we're there. It'll be a short walk, don't worry. Alright, now welcome back. So one of the things I've done off camera is I started making new farmland over here. Try to get ourselves, you know, uh, larger crop areas. So I would have five of each nutrient type. Uh, like so. So I would go all of one, let's say like rice all the way down there. Uh, rice is B, so tomatoes all the way up next to it, and so on and so forth. So I would have one huge row of one thing, another huge row of something else, and another huge row of something else. What I did not realize immediately was that salt water does not work on uh, crops. It does not hydrate them. So that's a problem. Uh, what I learned shortly afterwards is that the reason those crops are hydrated is because I have little pockets of fresh water, like right here, mixed in with random pockets of salt water. So I have fresh water pretty much all the way into, into here. All this is fresh water, but along the shore out by the sand, uh, basically, anywhere off the sand is salt water, is what I've found out. So, since that's not going to work, I set up a another area over here where each crop is going to have five slots to itself. So, five different crops of five different uh, of the three different nutrients, each having five slots of their own. So, that's going to be the plan for when we uh, get ourselves all set up like that. For now, let me put some stuff away. I have so much andesite on me, it's not even funny. Uh, I already had eight iron here, so that's awesome. Perfect. Uh, the andesite, I guess I can put away down here, right? It's better than nowhere, I guess. Uh, we're going to have to make a storage room eventually, and I'm probably going to have to produce like a mass amounts of... Uh, of, uh, what are they called? Vessels. Just to be able to... to carry everything. Now, I have a ton of potatoes, and I really don't need this much potato, so... What is going on here? This should have turned to rum. Okay. It didn't. It should have, but it didn't. Okay, whatever. We'll turn it into vodka, I guess.
It's way too much potato, apparently. I don't understand why this... why the other thing didn't work. Should've. There we go. Uh, consolidated that. That should work. Uh... It says it's going to work, but I don't know if it's going to work after what just happened with the sugar. So, I don't know. Whatever. Sugar, I'll put you in here. Uh, we should probably sleep away the night because, well, it's the night. I have sandwiches? Yeah, okay. So, as you can probably hear, I've got chickens. Oh, I forgot to forgot about the rooster. <laughs> Roosters are loud. With good reason, they tell you when it's daylight. In case you didn't know. Uh, it is currently early winter. So, stuff is going on. People are having fun. Animals are growing up. Slowly but surely. So, uh, I think the first thing we're going to tackle today is we are going to tackle the bloomery. So that while the bloomery is running in the background, I can work on a chicken coop. Boom. Oh, there we go. Because I picked up three hens. There's one, two, three, and a rooster. Three hens and a rooster. So we're in a good position to get lots of stuff. So now I need 24, char I need, no, hold on. I need 32 charcoal. Uh, oh, I guess I put away all the andesite I had. Oh, not quite. Awesome. I had the intention to put it all away, but then, luckily, I forgot. So we're just going to get ourselves 32 charcoal. How much do we have? 32. 32, yes. Okay, perfect. So that's exactly the amount we need. So what we have to do with this is we have to go over to the bloomery, open her up, get ourselves the charcoal, put it down until it is 8. And then that leaves us with 24. It's exactly what I wanted it to do. Uh, and now I need, I need, what do I need? I need the, the iron, of course. Uh, I need 24 of it, so that should be 16 plus 8, yep. Then all we have to do is go up top and start dumping it in. This should be working. It's not for some reason. Oh, there we go. So we now have a full thing. And all I have to do is take a fire starter. Oh. And light up. And that's going to take 15 in game hours. So actually, starting that before we slept would have probably been the good idea. Now, I don't know that it consumes the charcoal and or evenly. So I may have to fill this thing up with charcoal every so often. I don't 
think that's the case. I think I might be thinking of the blast furnace, but we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, so now I wanted to work on a chicken coop. So to make a chicken coop, or to make a nest box is what we want. Nest. We need three straw and four lumber, or five lumber, sorry. Now, do I have lumber just sitting around waiting to be used? I don't believe I do. No, I probably don't. I'm actually surprised that I don't. Hmm. Well, we've got charcoal in here, so that'll be good uh, in case we need it. So let's go get ourselves some lumber. There's a sycamore. Boom. Eight. There we go. So we go like so, and like so. And that gets us the nest box. Now I'm probably going to want more than one of these, so let's take you and do this again. I have three hens, so three nest boxes should probably be my goal. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna need more straw. Okay, let's see here. Can they stack? Yes, they can. I was pretty sure they could. Okay, now if I make... I would kind of like to get rid of all the extra lumber, so let's see here. If I take you, that'll put us up to nine. So now I get to make one more. That makes us an S box. And then eight plus four. I mean. Okay, one more, and we'll be able to make exactly two more. So we'll have a total of eight boxes, which should last us quite a while. And once we get more hens, it'll be perfect. I need one more straw. So let's get a few more. So I still have some on me. And then after we're done crafting this one, we're going to go take a look at our bloomery and make sure that the charcoal reserve is still okay. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That was weird. So we gotta have eight nest boxes. Perfect. Now let's go check on our bloomery. Everything looks fine. Eight hours, nine hours remaining. Okay. So now what I wanna do is I wanna set aside a specific location for our uh, little guys to wander around. So, I'm gonna wanna make more fence. Now to make fence, it's logs and their appropriate lumber. Okay, so we're probably gonna make it out of acacia just because I have a whack ton of this stuff. Okay, that is not what I wanted to do. probably have fence left over, right? After making the sheep pen and the pen over here. Doesn't look like it, but I do have tons of uh, straw just sitting in there. Uh, let's see here. That's all marble and stuff. No extra fences? Doesn't look like I have extra fences. So, let's see. I've got eight more lumber, so 
16 more acacia should do the trick. It's all hickory. It's acacia. It's not what I wanted to do. There we go. And this should give us more than enough fencing. So I carved out an area over here to use for the chicken coop. So this is where we're going to build it. Gonna be a fairly open area. I'm probably gonna need more fences than this, after all. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more than this. Now I am building this absurdly big, so don't worry about it. Uh, you don't have to make it to these dim you don't even have to make this at all you can just set the nest boxes down in the the open pen and you'll be fine uh, I'd just like to make cool stuff stuff I like to make uh, so we're gonna need some more acacia and of course I just did that again cool so one of you Boom, just like that. Gets us 24 more. Uh, let's go get a sandwich. Uh, I could sleep the night away, but like I said, I think the bloomer, I might be confusing the bloomery with the blast furnace, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I'm gonna eat right now, and then we're gonna go check on the bloomery, make sure it's okay. And we're gonna stay awake until it's done. It looks fine. Five hours remaining. So let's go over to there. And actually, we're going to leave this one for the gate. Wow. That Creeper is the only thing that's spawned so far this night, and it is way far... What is close to me? Okay, there must be a cave under me because it says there's a zombie directly under my face. Okay. This should be big enough. Uh, actually, you know what? If I could cut a corner somewhere... I'd like four four fences to be left over. Or four or more to be left over. Can I get these back if I break them like this? I can. Okay. Okay, so I guess we'll move it over to here. There we go. So now I'm going to build the actual coop. So, the way I like to build this is I like to build it as a 7x7 seven seven structure, right? One, two, no. 5x5, five five, sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. With a 3x3 three three space on the inside. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go. And then we're going to take ourselves the rest of these guys. Turn them into these. And just like so, we have ourselves spaces like this. And we're going to need a ton more acacia wood. I'm also going to need to make the gate. 
Well. Apparently I've got some spawn protection over here. So that's nice. Oh, uh, you know what? We could just make more. We can just make more. We can totally just make more. Let's check on the bloomery. One more hour to go. So we'll probably just I'll probably just wait here and cut back in when we're done with this thing. Okay, the one hour notification just disappeared, so it's probably just a few minutes away. Uh, in game minutes, it's probably just a few seconds away. Then we'll have to bring over to here, which has enough flux, and the hammer looks okay. We also have a piece of iron right here, just waiting to be used. Perfect. 600 units of raw iron. There you go. And we are now in the Iron Age. So we put this bloom in here. We tell it we want to refine it. It needs to be hit three times. Oh, it needs to be heated, apparently. Uh, okay. How are we doing for time? Uh, we're actually pretty close to time, so maybe we'll finish this off with, uh, with this bloomery. With uh, splitting this bloom, and then we'll do the next stuff later. Probably gonna need to keep this running for a while, so. Uh, I guess I'll make a cut here so that we don't run too far over time. And I'll bring you guys back in once the uh, bloom is ready to be worked. Alright, so the iron bloom is at yellow and it can be worked. Uh, it uh, got to the status at about bright red, but I figured we wanted it nice and hot before we started working with it. Now, I don't think... Okay, it is going to say can weld. So I guess I'm going to take it out right now, now that it's hit three stars. I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to say refine. And we want to go... I believe it is... Nope. There we go. So we now have a refined iron bloom and we're gonna split it. And it's simple as that. The splitting is the easiest part. Now we're gonna refine that into iron. And to do that, we're gonna to need to just like that. And let's see if I can get ton of these done. Uh, nah. Well, we got ourselves our first wrought iron ingot via the uh, via the anvil. So I'm going to heat these guys back up and then uh, uh, I'll finish them off here. I'm going to probably have to make another hammer, so let me get that running real quick. That way I'll be ready. So the uh, the making of these is pretty easy, as you can see. I just had to go, what was it? It was upset until I was just past it, punch, and then hit. So let's see here. You're all yellow. So we put one in like that, and we go shrink, 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 punch, hit, 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 hit. And that gets you your wrought iron. Oh, and just like that, we're out of our hammer. Uh, these two need to be heated up again and we can actually start working on heating these guys up so that they can be welded together there 
And that is basically that. So our next goal is going to be to make a wrought iron anvil. There we go. Now we can yeah. Now we can throw those guys back in. These guys are just hitting their weld hit. So you're at there we go. Now we can go boom and boom. And we have ourselves our first wrought iron double ingot, just like that. Easy peasy. So I'll do the rest of these off camera, and in the next episode, we are going to, I'll have enough set up to make ourselves a wrought iron uh, anvil. Boom, just like that. And uh, then we'll continue from there. Uh, I'll since I'm making these six ingots at a time and we only need 14 to make the anvil we're probably going to end up at uh, having quite a few left over so I'll show you some other things you can do with your leftover wrought iron there are quite a few tools you can make and uh, quite a few other interesting stuff you can do but uh, we'll do that in the next one. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed all that fun stuff. Feel free to leave a like if you liked it. All, Anything, everything helps. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.